Hi everyone, my name is Kiran. After a long time, again, I'm going to creating this video uh, due to some personal uh, things and it's uh, taking a long time. Again, now I'm going to start and uh, today I'm going to explain about Hub and Spoke Network Topology. It's a architect level, generally will implement most of the organization use the hub and spoke topology in this one more word i'm going to add it secure hub and spoke network topology how to implement in the real time not normally hub and spoke most of the people know what is a hub and spoke might be so but it's a secure hub and hub and network to, uh, spoke topology how to implement in the real time so when we are going to implement in the real time that secure hub and spoke network topology and what are the things is required, how to consider the IP address and everything we have to look into that. So I'm going to step by step explaining and uh, how to implement it. And during that time, so some of the things is a configuration wise, we'll select it, route tables as well as firewall related, what subnet ranges we need to use it and uh, how many IP address we are going to take it. Why this, uh, this much IP address only we need to take it like that as well as uh, when deploying the thing, different issues will occur and how to resolve it based on my experience, my knowledge wise, I'm sharing guys. So this uh, real time, secure hub and spoke network topology how to implement in the real time i'm showing here guys okay before going to start if you like my videos please subscribe if you are new to my channel and um, please uh, like the button as well as uh, bell icon so whenever i release new video so you will get the notification so that's it guys and coming to jump into the topic so what is the topic secure hub and spoke network topology so first of all video diagram wise i will show you so here first of all we need to hub network we required that is a i'm giving the name is a hub vnet depends on in your organization based on naming convention you can follow it so that is a hub network in this hub network generally will keep it the vpn gateway or express route depends on requirement vpn gateway or express route and as well as firewall is a required it's a third party firewall or azure firewall i am going to show you the azure firewall and as well as azure bastion ag bastion instead of jump host we can use the azure bastion service and securely connecting the services majorly these three components generally most of the time will use it other than that other than that so monitoring wise also if it is a hybrid topology if you are using hybrid topology if you are using yes uh, we are going to use it mpls what is a mpls azure monitor private link service azure monitor private link services other than that generally uh, we can deploy the application gateway also azure app gateway and any other public services also generally um, like you know app gateway or like that uh, traffic manager will try to deploy it our azure friend door those things also will deploy it on this hub network okay coming to spoke networks wise uh, please listen carefully guys and generally it's a spoke network wise also here one spoke identity platform as a microsoft recommended device and generally maintain the identity platform separate vnet so that means here i'm going to keep it my on-prem windows servers like on-prem it's a how windows server active directory same windows server active directory i'm going to keep it here also for my azure platform authentication and uh, for group policies some other purpose if i want to use it on uh, windows server active directory yes i'm going to keep it separate subscription separate vnet separate subnet for each and in this i'm going to deploy two vms for redundancy purpose if you have multiple different domains if i have 
one more domain controller different domain fqdn yes one more subnet and we will going to keep it so this is a one spoke network and another spoke network shared resources generally for it purpose for automate the things or monitor and other things generally shared resources wise one more vnet one more subscription and that particular resources will keep it into the this shared resources vnet guys shared resources vnet like example automation account automation account log analytics workspace and uh, kindly it's a kind of uh, patching purpose and uh, these all those things purpose one more vnet so basically this three is a real time microsoft recommended device we should go with like this and this hub network two this is a vnet this is a hub network two uh, spoke network vnet pairing this is a pairing and this is also pairing same like that and generally our workload purpose other workloads like uh, i can say my application servers database servers and sap application might be my other application day to day wise finance it and other blah blah these are all those things separate vnet separate subscription like that each and every subscription and each vnet will going to use it and peering with the hub network peering with the hub network will do it so in this so many generally discussing about this vnet peering simply vnet peering generally will talk about but other than that that options also important guys what options we are selecting how to creating and configuring the things as well as how that route the traffic to azure firewall and what is the subnet range i need to use it how azure bastion it's going to utilize it for other all the other subscription of all other vnets that resources using azure bastion how can access and everything will one by one we'll look into that we'll get to understand even from some people will get it so how the route uh, traffic will route it's a route tables that is also we'll try to understand that route table also that configuration settings also very important definitely a lot of things we are going to learn furtherly one by one on this okay first of all today i'm going to show you how to deploy the hub vnet what are the considerations i am going to take it how to deploy totally this hub vnet guys hub vnet i am going to deploy how what is the address range i am going to take it why that much range i am taking and why especially this is a azure firewall this much range and ampls this range and vpn this range bastion sub subnet this range and additionally remaining ip address what purpose we can use it we'll try to understand okay this is a way totally i'm going to show you guys practically one by one but in single video i'm not going to cover totally this is a one but one by one i'm going to create uh, like release the videos you can watch it okay so let's jump into the practically today how to implement or deploy the hub network so go to the virtual networks create a virtual network and when creating the virtual network what subscription we required accordingly we need to select that particular subscription and resource group also we need to select it and after that i am giving the name which depends on your requirement you can give the your naming convention your organization naming convention guys but right now just i am giving the hub vnet and which region we want accordingly we need to select it and click on next so later on individually i am going to create it azure bastion azure firewall and these all those things right now i don't require so next and here let me remove it by default i am getting this address range i don't want so add ip address space so i am going to use it some 10.20.0.0 but this is a how much range i should use it slash 22 26 27 28 or 21 or 22 which range i want to use it so here address space range or address space size i am going to define it the slash 22 guys so totally how many ip address i am going to get it 1024 ip address 1024 ip address i am going to get it guys so this is the first point we need to understand why this much large range i am going to taken 
so that question generally everyone will get it so let me show you let me tell you also so first of all i already mentioned in the hub network we are going to utilize for hub network for vpn gateway or express route or express route and as well as we are going to utilize it deploying azure bastion as well as azure firewall as well as ampls as well as some other services application gateway or traffic manager or any other uh, services also we are going to deploy it so click on add subnet first of all what purpose i am going to deploy this one so this subnet for my azure bastion so automatically it's a take in the 26 minimum is a range 26 it's a taken guys 64 ip address i'm getting so what other ranges also they are mentioned 25 24 23 22 but minimum minimum microsoft recommendation wise also slash 26 guys slash 26 even i can show you uh, microsoft documentation also and you can refer it and azure bastion this is an article our documentation microsoft mention subnet name must be azure bastion subnet subnet size must be slash 26 or larger slash 25 or slash 24 etc we should use it so minimum wise slash 26 automatically taken automatically taken that is a subnet range okay so this is a microsoft recommendation guys even i'm showing here microsoft documentation only you can refer it here so as per recommendation minimum is a slash 26 is required if you don't want more you require accordingly you can select the slash 25 or slash 24 we can select it okay that is a first thing and as well as you can observe guys uh this is a for azure firewall this azure firewall subnet range they define it slash 26 the size of azure firewall subnet is a slash 26 for more information subnet size and fq uh, uh like you know uh, fqa uh, faq on that we can get it question and answers wise microsoft is a providing on that we can get why it's a they mentioned clearly here this article also i will keep it under description in my video description you can able to see it and you can get the answer for that and as well as vpn virtual network gateway this is also microsoft recommending here you can see basically they are saying that slash 29 as small as slash 29 but but we are recommending we recommended that you create a gateway subnet slash 27 or larger slash 27 or slash 26 we should use it this is a accommodate most configuration this is the accommodate most configuration you can read this document also so that you can get more idea why they are recommending even i will give the description of this one also as well as ampls azure monitor private link services and this subnet range microsoft is a given suggestion or recommended to use it slash 27 slash 27 we should use it so this is a why uh like you know basically these many ip address for bastion azure firewall as well as vpn gateway as well as mpls these are all those things required additionally future we are going to deploy application gateway and other services also due to that i required more ip address so that's the reason guys i taken slash 22 ip address range totally vnet range is a slash 22 my vnet hub vnet range is a slash 22 so let's try to deploy uh, subnets also and with the bastion slash 26 it's enough to me and depends on requirement you can choose it guys and here i want for azure firewall and automatically it's a taken guys slash 26 and 64 ip address but here 1.0 i'm getting but additionally here up to 64 ip address only i'm utilize it here but i want continue that address range that's the reason i removed it and properly updating here 0.64 64 i'm going to specify it here but one problem here in case of future in the azure bastion this subnet range i want extended i can't so that's the reason automatically i'm getting 1.0 in future if you want you can easily extend the this subnet range so let me show you what how to extend it here 1.0 
slash 26 wise i'm getting click on add okay later on i want to edit it so you can see click on edit and here i can go with the up to slash 24 also even i'm not getting any error because of that range already remaining ip address i'm not going to utilize it other subnets that's the reason i can able to extend it okay so that's the reason we are getting guys and that's not a problem so leave it that part and uh, just now our i'm going to show you the scenario wise so in this scenario i don't require zero dot 64 i'm specifying and up to 127 ip address i'm going to use it from 64 to 127 save it and add a subnet one more so what is the one more i'm going to utilize it for virtual network gateway so that means azure virtual network gateway that is a vpn and this is also slash 27 by default i'm getting other than that we can go with the 28 or 29 also but it's a microsoft recommendation wise slash 27 we should use it minimum okay better is a uh, that is a one minimum we can go with the 29 or 28 also but it's a recommended wise better go with the slash 27 click on add and other subnet also ampls subnet so here nothing is available ampls but i can give the name instead of this is a one ampls subnet i'm giving the name and here uh what is uh here already utilized it okay let me delete it this one because of it's a properly not utilized the ip address range that's the reason let me here 0 0.128 i'm going to provide it up to 159 ip address i'm going to utilize it okay great and here after that it's a ampls ampls subnet and this is also 1.0 onwards i'm getting instead of uh, 0.160 i'm providing 160 is a cidr block wise it's uh, taken but slash 24 i'm getting that's the reason i'm going to provide the slash 27 slash 27 i'm going to provide it so that 160 onwards 191 up to it's going to utilize it 32 ip address for ampls it's uh, this is a recommended by microsoft for ampls subnet click on add and next review and created this is a way hub network we can define it guys and furtherly so many other ip address ranges like how many we are utilizing 64 64 32 and 32 totally these many ip address only i'm utilizing but how many ip address i'm getting 1024 ip address in the hub network in the future any other purpose we can utilize it remaining ip address remaining ip address i can utilize it okay that's the reason i'm going to utilizing slash 22 guys click on create it now my hub network is going to deploy it my hub network is going to deploy it and furtherly i need to deploy azure bastion azure firewall azure virtual network gateway that means vpn and these all services i'm going to deploy it so in the next video we'll discuss about spoke networks and identity platform and other spoke networks and peering how the traffic route to the firewall and um, how is a vpn gateway through that directly it will communicate instead of that one how the traffic flow to the firewall why it's required these all points also we'll discuss furtherly so you will get the more idea in the real time hub and spoke network topology how to implement so thank you guys and we'll meet tomorrow and with the next video and we'll discuss